Hi folks, this is Mimi back with another dumpster dive haul. And when I say haul, y'all, I got a haul. Today I hit the proverbial jackpot at the famous pharmacy with the red sign and three letters. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And it appears that they threw away the whole freaking store. It really appeared that way. When I got to the bin, there were eight to ten of the giant 50-gallon recycling bags full of snacks. My only explanation for this store is that um, they're located directly across the street from a shop, right? And I would imagine that everybody's just going there and buying their snacks as opposed to paying such a ridiculous price like $5 or $6 a bag for these snacks that are here. All name brand stuff, all within date. I think one item. Let's see, today is uh, November 19th and I think the only item close to date was one of the crackers or something that was November 17th which obviously means nothing because that's just a sell by date so I'm just going to show you what I have um, one of the bags alone one of the 50 gallon bags had nothing but Oreos in it and that must have been about 50 60 packs how a store is buying that much and not selling any to just be throwing it all in the garbage blows my mind but I have one of the Oreo Thins, two of the original Oreos, a bag of the Ritz Crisp and Thins, oven baked, not fried, sea salt chips, light and airy, um, a box of these Good Thins, sweet potato chips, they're really good. They're light and you don't have to feel guilty about eating them because um, they have a few calories. And then a box of the uh, spinach and garlic. Up here we have Enjoy Life Soft Baked double chocolate brownie cookies plus we have the snickerdoodle ones and then we also had two boxes of the chocolate chip ones my kids have already gotten into them and this is pretty much what was left <laughs> out of the two boxes that they tore into i put the remainder in there but i kept it there so you could see it we have kashi lemon chickpea snack thins lance gluten-free real cheddar cheese crackers keebler club original crackers and they sell these for $5 a box, which would explain why it's all going in the trash. Belveda, um, peanut butter sandwich crackers, cars, table water crackers, crack pepper crackers. We have three boxes of the original Chips Ahoy cookies. The kids have already eaten one of those. We had one box of each of these Fiber One bars, and they each come with five in a pack. So we had a box of caramel nut, one of chocolate brownie I believe and one sweet and salty nut peanut up here we have goldfish we have one bag of the cheddar two of the parmesan the dates are all fine on those I believe they're dated for the sell by date is December 17th um, we had two bags of these grandma's chocolate brownie cookies and I gave one to a friend I had one pack of the Wonderful roasted and salted pistachios, and I already ate those, but I left the package so you could see. We had two of the nut harvest, nut and fruit trail mix packs, which is raisins, peanuts, sunflowers, cashews, and cranberries. And since I always carry a trail mix bag with me for energy, I put them into this bag, as you can see here. I left the package just so you could see what was part of my haul. We have one bag of the um, heavenly light spicy sriracha popcorn. Ooh, it's got a nice kick to it. And then we have two of these Tostitos New York Giants chips. Um, those are about a week after the sell date, but I opened them up and they taste delicious and fresh. And then we also had two bags of the limes, which um, I gave away. So, like I said, I didn't scratch the surface of what the store was throwing out. I got about 30 items total. But there were seven more bags. Like I said, it was like they literally threw out the whole store. If a store is throwing away this much merchandise, that means you're carrying too much, you're ordering too much. Why isn't corporate sitting down and saying, let's stop ordering all this stuff that we're not selling? Like I said, they're right across the street from a shop, right? Which would explain why they're not selling this. People are going over there and probably getting two of these snacks for the price of one. No one's spending $5 on the back box of crackers anymore. And so now they're just throwing it away and they refuse to donate it. 
But why I'm both thrilled at this haul is aggravating at the same time because this could help so many people. I will be donating about half of my stash because I really don't want to pack on three pounds eating all these snacks, even though they're all so good and it would be easy to do. That's my haul, y'all. Really great. The kids are loving it and enjoying it. And um, I guess I will see you guys the next time I make another haul video. Hopefully very soon. But not too soon. Thank you for watching. Like and share and subscribe and all that jazz. I'll just give you a peek one more time of what I have. Oreos. Ritz. Good things. Kashi. Gluten free cheese crackers. Club crackers. Snickerdoodle cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. Brownie cookies. Peanut butter sandwiches. Cracked pepper crackers. Chips ahoy. Five of one bars. Pistachios. Nut and fruit trail mix, goldfish, grandma cookies, sriracha popcorn, Tostitos, New York Giants edition. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.